This is Joseph Kokum at TCAF 2015 on behalf of Becca Hilburn's Art Process blog, Keep On Truckin' Natto Soup. If you could introduce yourself, please. Yeah, I'm Erin Potter, and I'm here with my husband. We do comics, and we do screen-printed uh, posters, so we do a lot of poster comics. Uh, I got an art degree, and he's getting a, a writing PhD, so we've tried to marry the two, and obviously comics is where that goes. So we've done um, a lot together, and uh, we're kind of just starting in the comics world, but hopefully we'll keep going. Awesome. And this is your first time at TCAF? First time at TCAF, yeah. Right. We usually have done like um, more art-based festivals. Right. Um, so you go somewhere and, and it's mostly like a wall of uh, prints. Right, is, yeah. Do you work shows that are um, more digital prints, like Gickley's, or traditional? No, we're usually traditional printmaking shows. Okay. Like when, we, when you do a um, like flat stock festival, everyone is screen printed, like a specifically screen printing. Yeah. Or, yeah, we, we never... Um, print anything other than screen print usually. We kind of like yeah. the handmade aspect and really like everything to be one of a kind. Like we've, we've touched all of them, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen a few people uh, just walking around with screen printed comics and um, they always say, you know, flip through and find the one that you like because of course they're all going to be different. They're screen yeah. printed by hand. Yeah, when you screen print by hand, your registration's really tricky. You're going to have yeah. some that are off. And it's part of the charm because, you know, they are kind of like more individual that way. So you have to make your design go towards uh, leniency in registration sometimes. But, yeah. So there are some artists who will just get their cover screen printed and occasionally they will just get a company to screen print them, which is vastly different from what you're doing. So how do you, uh, how, when you're talking to a customer, how do you impress upon them that this is a hand screen printed product all the way through? Well, they might just be able to tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, it's not something I really bring up and a lot of people don't totally understand it sometimes so it, but it's something that I value highly so I will always ask someone when I'm looking at a um, comic like how they have it the printed process. you can get uh, yeah. there's I've seen some razor graph prints here that are really cool which is like an old screen print uh, basically machine that people are kind of bringing back into the comics world right now cool. and yeah so there's so many ways to do your process and Right. A lot of them are very difficult unless you're just printing uh, on a printer, so... Yeah, and that's that seems to be the general go-to for making uh, minis. Just bring it to Office Max or print it at home and staple it. Yeah. Um, so what's been your experience at the show? We're about halfway through Saturday. It's very crowded. I, um, I hadn't been here before, so I didn't really know what to expect, but yeah. it's been really fun. We've really enjoyed like uh, networking and getting to know other people and seeing everybody's table. And yeah, uh, yeah. we were talking earlier about um, all the names we recognize when coming to the show. It's yeah. definitely something to attend. I think I've, I'm geeking out here more than any festival I've ever been to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And. Um, the artist alley is divided into two floors. Um, what's been your experience? I don't know how much you've been on the first floor. Are you finding that yeah. uh, people are making their way up here? Yeah, I think the second floor is a less busy. But the first floor has a lot of, um, like, the presses are down there, so they'll have all different artists, yeah. whereas the top floor is just singular artists. A lot of people are self-publishing. So it's okay. definitely smarter or smaller stuff. But there's there's a niche of people that prefer that too. So it's just yeah, you definitely. Know, people Some people might just be heading only upstairs, really, because right. they don't they don't necessarily want to come to a show and just buy something they could get on Amazon or yeah, at a you, local yeah. store. If you're gonna go to a festival, you kind of want unique festival things. At least I do. That's the things that I buy when I'm here. Sure. For trade, trade a lot of stuff with other artists. Okay. Yeah. And you said you're from the Missouri area, correct? Yeah, um, we're in Columbia, Missouri right now. Okay, and you travel for print shows, or Missouri has... Yeah, um, well, Missouri doesn't have... Where we live, there's not a very big um, screen printing scene, so we do a lot of traveling, um, a lot of small press ex expos and alternative print and um, poster making, mostly, okay. festivals. Can you tell me a little bit about Irregular Limbs? What was the inspiration for it? Yeah, sure. My husband wrote this one, and he has a book coming out on Subito Press in a couple months. 
and he's done all of these stories that are around irregular limbs, essentially people losing limbs or finding the limbs. Um, they all tie together because of these limbs in the story. He has a brother with one arm, so I think it was always kind of like this thing they were obsessed about as kids. Yeah. So. I've seen a rather bizarre movie called Armless, which is kind of like a dark comedy. I've, is... I've seen, I haven't seen it, but I know of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about some of your other, uh, your prints or also your other comics? Yeah, um, when we collaborate together, we, for printmaking, we call ourselves Potter Press. And we've been, we started doing screen printed posters for bands in 2005, so it's been 10 years. We worked with a lot of bands um, yeah. from the Black, the Black Keys and Aquaville River and a lot of bands have commissioned us and then we also work with a lot of venues to do just like the one-off poster for that specific show at that venue. Yeah, that's great. So, yeah. Um, so are you working out of your home or are you working we in a shared are, studio space? We have a very dark, scary basement that we print out of, um, but it's actually the first time we've really had a big space so we love yeah. it and um, we do everything very lo-fi we spray our screens out in the shower um, we burn our screens with regular 100 watt light bulbs so it's all um, very low tech but very hands-on yeah um, are you using uh, I, I know that screen printing uses some toxic chemicals in the process are you trying to use uh, less toxic chemicals or just whatever works we, best for the product oh, we don't use in uh, we only use water-based, but we haven't used, we haven't tried any vegetable-based inks or anything yet. But okay. we only print on paper, mostly because plastisol is what you screen print on fabric with, and it's kind of gross. And it's just not <laughs> something I'd want to use in my house. I'd use it if I had a studio, probably. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Okay, where can we find your work online? You can find it at potterpress.verb.com. Okay, and that's where we would go to get your prints and your comics and also to commission you if I were a band or an organization sure. who wanted to yeah, run a Yeah, and that will link you to, you know, our Etsy page and Tumblrs and all the other stuff we do online. Right. And uh, do you have any upcoming projects that we should know about? Uh, not that I can think of. Okay. <laughs> just, we're just, just always getting making through stuff. the show right yeah. now. <laughs> TCAP is, is the major event. It is eating my brain right now, <laughs> yeah. I understand. <laughs> All right, and finally, would you have any advice to someone who's considering attending uh, TCAF for the first time, uh, maybe a uh, United States-based uh, screen printing artist like yourself? Yeah, I mean... I mean, I know they're, they're targeting people who have comics on the table, so mm -hmm. if you're a screen printer, you should definitely Be at least try to have some comics. Yeah. For any but kind of other sequential art, that. there is quite yeah. a few screen prints here. Um, but a lot of them are characters from comics, or, you know, there's a lot of fan art. Um, yeah. I just suggest anyone going to a festival, you have to just be really in love with what you're going to the festival for because it's usually not a big money maker, but it's an incredible experience and you will network and just have such an enjoyable time. Okay. Well, thank you. I hope you have a good TCAF. Thank you.